I want to thank Cuisine Solution for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to Civil Everything, guys. Chicken Marsala is phenomenal. I have to admit, every time I go to a restaurant, I love it. But I am a steak guy. I love steak. And I'm making steak marsala. Check it out. I started with these beautiful skirt steaks. I feel like this cut is perfect for this dish, especially because it's very flavorful. It's also my family's favorite steak, obviously after picanha. And unlike ribeye or New York strip, it tastes better at higher temperature. And since we're going to be cooking this sous vide and then cooking it once again in the sauce, it makes the right steak for this dish. The first thing I like to do is to season it. And I kept it simple with salt, freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. Remember to season all sides. Now the only thing left to do is to bag it up and get ready for the water bath. As a side dish, I decided to make some pan-fried asparagus and it is easy to do. Quick fact about asparagus. The closer you are to the tip, the more tender the flesh is. So by bending it, it will naturally break at the spot that is not tender and you will be left with a perfectly tender asparagus to cook. That is the easiest way to trim it. Then I added a little bit of oil to the pan and kept it under medium-high heat. Minced garlic also went in. And before getting any color on them, I threw in my asparagus. Mixed it well and seasoned it with salt and freshly ground black pepper. To ensure everything was coated nicely, I mixed it a little bit more. You want to saute them until they are nice and soft. If the pan starts to glaze, that is a good thing. Just add a little bit of water to deglaze it. To finish it off, I threw in some butter. Make sure you get all of them coated. This gives your asparagus a wonderful flavor. Once they are super tender, you can check this by using a paring knife. If it goes in like butter, you know it's ready. Once it's done, mix it well and your asparagus is done. Now getting back to our beautiful steaks, I'm going to be cooking them at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two and a half hours. We got our beautiful steaks cooked at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for two and a half hours, but it is time to take it out. Let's do it. I mean, YouTube should really invent smell -a vision It smells wonderful. If you never tried this cut of steak, I definitely recommend it. Okay, so let me give you a quick explanation of what's gonna happen. I'm gonna pat it down so that we can get a nice sear like always. Then we're gonna pan sear it. There's gonna be a little bit of fun left on the pan. We're gonna use the bag juices to deglaze that pan and also Marsala wine. A lot of people use for chicken masala chicken stock, but we are lucky enough that we have this concentrated, potent, potent version. How do you say it, mama? Po potent, yeah? <laughs> potted version and we're gonna be using that and then what we're gonna do we're gonna saute these mushrooms so that all these juices and flavor of the steak infuses into this mushroom and to finish it off I'm gonna be using a little bit of cream and butter come on there's no way that that's not gonna taste good you guys agree with me but now I say it doesn't look that good right now but watch this Before tasting this amazing dish, I want to quickly talk to you about International Sous Vide Day. I'm happy to partner up with Cuisine Solutions to bring awareness to this wonderful and special day where we, sous vide enthusiasts, can show that this amazing method of cooking is no longer only for pro chefs, but home cooks like you and me. I mean, the fact that sous vide is so easy 
convenient and it gives you perfection every single time is something we need to share. I count on you to let everyone know about this awesome day. Thank you Cuisine Solutions for partnering up with me. They will also be doing a giveaway on my Instagram page for a free jewel. Make sure you check that out. Also, I will put a link on the description down below so that you can see their website. They have some awesome stuff. But now, let's get right back to my favorite part of the video, which is tasting those amazing Marsala steaks. All right, this is my take on steak Marsala, Mama. What do you think? Ah, can I go already? I know, it's so good. We're gonna serve this. It smells this. amazing in here, guys. We're gonna serve it with a little bit of uh, some white rice. You can also use it with noodles and stuff. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna try the white rice? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna pat my stomach a little bit. By itself, mama? Wait, hold on. Don't do it by itself, mama. Even the rice is good. Even the rice is good. <laughs> what about the asparagus? At least with the asparagus. Now, I've made asparagus sous vide before, and uh, I'll link the video so that you guys can check it out if you wanna make it sous vide. It's fantastic as well. But sometimes when you're in a hurry, you gotta go. Sometimes uh, sous vide is not very, you know, time efficient, let's say that. Mm. Now the asparagus, the secret is you gotta put some extra flavor in there. What do you think? Garlic? Yes. Yes. Huh? Amazing. Mm. People that tell me that they don't mm. like vegetable is because they don't season the vegetable. You have to season the vegetable. Then it's gonna turn out good. Except for Angel. Angel's a special case. Angel's a hater. Yeah. All right, let's try this steak marsala. I am using what we call here churrasco. A lot of other people call it also skirt steak, <laughs> which is the actual name for it. And this sauce is amazing. We're gonna grab that juice because that sauce is amazing. Oh, now I did cut a piece of this steak by itself. Here you guys can see what it looks like. Now that's the wonderful thing about cooking at sous vide. It's perfectly medium rare in the middle. At the same time, this is one of those steaks that can take higher temperature. So I recommend if any one of your family members like a, you know, medium well, let's not say well done, right? Because that's an offensive word. <laughs> well done is a crime. Yes, he's right. It is an offensive word. Okay, so let's give this a try. Cheers, everybody. Wow. I know chicken marsala is good. But steak marsala is a different level. Ooh. It's a whole different ball game, everybody. <laughs> wow, especially with the churrasco. So tender, juicy. Mm. The sauce goes in the crevices of the meat. Yes. So you have the flavor of the sauce inside of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God, this is delicious. Wow, I wonder who invented marsala sauce. That guy should be in the world record of amazingness guinness world record because that sauce it's something else everybody wow making it sous vide is so amazing because we're using the juices from the bag itself versus using beef broth or mm. you know chicken stock everything is so much more flavorful and concentrated it is the way to do it the thing the thing i like about this is that you can make the sauce either as concentrated as you want, right? or as liquidy as you want. Exactly. If you want it more thicker, just render it a little bit more. Let mm -hmm. it, you know, cook a little bit longer. But I like a little bit more runny yep. because all the crevices like you described, yep. everything goes the in juice there. juice inside all of that. Man. And every time you bite, there's like an explosion of flavor in your mouth. Not only the meat from the juices, but the sauce together. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like mushroom, you gotta, you gotta do this. You will like mushrooms, I promise you. <laughs> because the mushrooms have the flavor of the steak mm -hmm. with the sauce. If you don't like the texture of the mushroom, then I can't understand it because... If you don't like the texture of the mushroom, just close your eyes, all right? <laughs> and just eat it, you're gonna enjoy it. Did you know, fun fact, you cannot overcook mushrooms. Did you know that? For real? Yeah, you cannot overcook it. You can burn it if you put it obviously okay. directly on the charcoal. On the if you put some flamethrower in there, it will burn. But if you leave it cooking, you, you cannot overcook it. You cannot overcook it. It's crazy. Foolproof. Yeah. <laughs> Foolproof, mama. <laughs> That's right. If you don't want to do it with a skirt steak, you can do it with something else, a ribeye or you know a New York strip. Any steak will work. The sauce has so much flavor that you can do this with Chuck. A nine round. 
If you're gonna do it with an eye rock, my recommendation is just use a meat mallet and you know hammer that thing down until it's tender like there's no tomorrow, and then cook it sous vide and make it with an eye rock. Mm. Any steak will work. Anyway guys, this is the result for my steak my salad. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care everybody, bye bye. We out, I'm gonna eat. Let me ask you guys a favor. Please mm. give us a thumbs up and a comment so we can do more of this and I can enjoy more good food like this, okay? <laughs> no, I want some more. <laughs> Never ask you guys for anything. Please, please do it. <laughs> See you guys on the next one, everybody. Take care, bye-bye.